Hello and welcome to the Mazda Car Challenge. Or, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean the production car challenge. Sorry, it's just the entire field is Mazdas, so excuse me for getting it wrong. We've <laughs> we've got a Mazda race here today, basically. Um, almost the entire field. We got like 28 Mazdas in here or something like that. And no other class except for three Mustangs. So that's interesting. And we're at Phoenix Road Course, which is also interesting. Is that a black flag? I need a black flag. We're good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> also interesting, because this is a strange little track here in Phoenix. Um, I happen to like it quite a lot. I don't know how other people feel about it, <laughs> but I happen to like it. Um, kind of like, it's got some strange corners, and um, I don't know if I've optimized it yet. I feel like I have a lot of speed to gain still, but uh, it's pretty fun. I think the only uh, scary part is turn one, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute if you don't already know what I'm talking about. You don't already know Phoenix Road Course. But I guess you could call it a roval, because we do race on the oval part right here. And uh, as we get to turn one. Green flag, green flag. Well, we don't really get to turn one, but again, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> so we'll actually cut across here into the pit area, oddly enough. And you do this crazy long, like, wide turn and then you cut down over here very interesting corner and I don't know if I've optimized it yet I feel like I've got it somewhat decent but uh, I do have a lot of fun racing so I'm hoping we have a good event I'm the number two I've got one Mazda guy ranked higher than me. And, uh, I will say, I think this is the first time I've done Phoenix Road on my channel, but it wasn't the first one I wanted to upload to the channel. Because back when Production Car Challenge had this combo last, I had a fantastic race. Very exciting finish with a guy I finished side by side with. It wasn't for the lead, I don't think. It was farther back in the field, but still a good finish, and we had a fantastic battle, and I was really excited to upload it, but my like computer fell apart. <laughs> my computer like broke. And I lost the footage and a bunch of other stuff at the time, so that was a bummer. So hopefully this time I get to keep the footage. And hopefully we have another fun, exciting race, too. I just realized I have all-time optimal up instead of all-time best, but you know what? That's probably a good idea because... Ugh, I'm trying to optimize my laps here. Like I said, there's still a lot of time for me to gain, I think, so I think I'm going to be... I think all-time optimal is something I do want to be looking at. Uh, my first lap was a 106.9. I don't know where this is going to bring us. I think it's going to be slower. The yeah, it's a 107. I still doing okay. I feel like there's a thousand ways to take turn one here. And I'm not sure which of them is the right way yet. That felt pretty good right there. And then this corner kind of can sneak up on you if you're not careful. And you can get on the gas a lot sooner than you think. It's just, it, it's this track's very interesting because it feels like there's multiple ways to take multiple different corners. You have options or something. <laughs> of course, that could just be because I have not figured out the perfect line yet myself. And so to me it seems that way, but really there is, you know, the right way to do it. Hard to say. Um, 
obviously much less experienced at this track compared to other road courses. I think that last Phoenix Road Race I did that I didn't wasn't able to record, which was like a year ago, if not longer, um, pretty near when I started my channel. Um, I think that was probably the only other race I've done here. So that's why I'm trying to do a couple extra laps. I didn't take the fuel out either. I didn't think to do that, but not a huge deal. But I don't mind getting a couple extra practice laps in. Got a setup from Major's Garage. This does perfectly fine for me. Easy to end up in the wall there if you're not careful uh, getting onto the throttle and exit. So you gotta watch out for that. We got someone that beat us out. The number five got a 1067. Oh, and there's another person. So 1068. Alright, my optimal is 1065, so if I could get my act together and figure out how to be consistent and smooth here and hit my corners right, I could potentially get up there, but. As of right now, I don't know why I have it. You want to be careful in this corner. It really wants to spin out on cold tires right there. If you're not careful, so. A little bit right there as well. I feel like I'm learning a little bit more every lap I do here, so. Ugh, overdrove that exit right there. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can overdrive the exit and get into the wall if you're not careful. So, yeah, time to be gained here for sure. And uh, hopefully it'll get a little faster as the race goes on. Hopefully we get the chance <laughs> and don't get run into. I think turn one can be could potentially be very, very scary. But as of right now, we're fourth of the Mazdas and fifth overall. The uh, three Mustang Mustangs are very different on speed, it looks like. The six is about a second and a half off of the nine. And then... 32 is not qualified, but they are the lowest I rating here in what I believe is a single split. Guys, talking about his Mustang time, I guess. All right, and we are about to get going here, so that's exciting. That's the end of the session, P4. We will do a pace lap here on the production car challenge. Unfortunately, hopefully we can survive. Can't get all that ready in case we need it. Must think we'll be ahead of us. What do you say? I missed what he said. Um, unfortunately. The, uh, the Mustangs are going to be in front of us. And I'm a little scared of the two guys that could be faster. Thank you to whoever asked about fuel. That reminded me to go change my fuel from qualifying. <laughs> that guy almost uh, didn't change his fuel. That's too bad. He's one of the guys that's faster that than us. <laughs> that I'd rather. Silly thing to do. I'd rather beat him the right way. Yeah, I realized. Oh, oh <laughs> shit, better go do this quickly. <laughs> So I even can. No, I think we've all done it before. I certainly have. Forgot to change qualifying. I'm the game. I have no idea what we're talking about. Set up with the lower fuel. Are you guys is hanging back or what? I sure hope so. Leaving a gap is always preferable. Yeah, no, you're not. 
Yeah, I'll fuck it off you. I have 11.9 gallons of fuel, is that too much? Yeah, you be on my fight. Come on inside the ladies. There's like a thousand different ways to enter turn one, like I said, so I'm a little nervous. I don't want to run the guy over in front of me, but I also don't want to get run over. 25 minutes. So, the track temp is 108. This, uh, temp is this could be quite dangerous. Follow car number 03 in the left column. Leaving space, that's good. We're gone. Getting my all time best up. For whatever reason, the leader appears to be in the right lane. I would have expected the inside lane. But I'll just have to keep that in mind for whenever we, uh, Get the jump. Get some corners in here under a little bit of speed. Maybe get the tires warmed up a little bit. Not going to go full out like the three, though. Going crazy with that tire warming. And uh, looks like we'll have the long straight away before the green, so that's cool. All right. Five is slowing down to a crawl for some reason. About to go green. Stay All right. Good. We're ready to go. Okay, guy blinks out in front of us right whenever the guy jumps. <laughs> That's not a deal. It's all good and well. Why is the Mustang right there not going? Did they start in fourth gear or something? That's curious. They're very checked up. I'd much rather be doing this though. Being patient. Than killing each other. You know, the eight wants to be aggressive for some reason. Oh, clear. Ooh. Taylor is leading the race. All right. I'm just trying to be careful here in these cold tires because they are a little bit scary. We can build something from here. That Charlotte Roval's cool, but. Ugh, that guy about killed us. On the inside, it looked like he wasn't going to break in time. He's trying to be a defensive driver, so we can get spread out a little bit and then start to actually race. Actually got a little bit loose there, and actually you saw the guy in front, too. Get a little sideways. where it gets really unsettled sometimes, so I'm gonna be gentle. Now eight insisted to pass us right at the start of the race, so he better go. If he wants to be if he really thinks he's that much faster and deserves a spot, prove it to me. up a tiny bit right now. 
by him. But uh, just normal, you know, checking up, making sure I don't run in the back of him. There's nothing too unusual there. Oh my god, he nearly took out the inside wall there. That was close. I don't know if he meant to make it that close. Whoa, what are we doing? That guy misses Mark or something? Alright, still there. Clear. I have no idea where he is right now. Out there. Okay, I guess we're good. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Someone even out there? That got really confusing. I swear I saw a car out there. I think it might have been that five. Like went a really weird direction through the corner or something. Okay, Colton. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. You got a slow car on the left. So car on the left. We got someone coming out of the pits, which is very scary here because that's almost like during in the racing line that they're in. Left side. You can me have to go wide, kind of getting in my way. There's nothing they can really do about that, though. They did all they could and kept as close to the inside as possible. Can't really blame them too much for that. You got a slow car on the left, right side. I make the pass on this guy. I thought he was going to get a big run or something and overtake us again, but it looks like we're good. Sorry, mate. He might have conceded it. I don't know. You're back in fourth position. It's like all over my left rear for no reason, slowing us both down. He's gonna cause us to lose these guys ahead of us, which is really frustrating. Okay, we're too wide there and gotta slow down. Fantastic. Thanks to him for that as well, because he forced me out there. So I'm guessing he probably didn't let us have it, and he's probably just was not able to do the crossover on us. So I know I'm faster than he is, but kind of getting held up now. Sorry, sorry. He just completely forced his way in turn one, last lap. B5. Sorry about that, champ. Dude, come on, bro. Break for him. And he breaks too early for this corner as well. You got a slow car on the left. On the left. Flex, Martin. Slap guy. Go right. What are you doing? I don't like this guy. You've just done a 106.5. How frustrating. You need to find a tenth in sector three. You 
You're just gonna have to send it, mate. Slow through here. I just have to slam on the brakes for this guy. Ugh. And then I don't know what's going on up here. Car right. Car right. Too wide. You're on the left. Three no wide. idea what that was. Right side, too wide. Well done, Colton. Great move. Keep but, it up. uh, bye bye, eight. Don't come back. Fortunately, we won't have the draft of the lead guys anymore because eight couldn't keep up and he dragged us down with him. Plus, whatever just happened there. You're back in fourth position. I think we should be able to catch up. Ooh, got a little bit sideways there. Ah, oh, it feels nice to be able to drive the corners how I want. It looks like we might be able to catch up to these guys. I think they're kind of having, slowing each other down when they're battling. That could be good news for us. What? You uh oh. <laughs> Did the Mustangs just wreck each other there? There's only three of them. I think two of them might have found each other. Wow. How'd y'all end up over there? The lead is fitting now. The lead is fitting now. Right side. That's Clear. Not a bad spot. Make Lino cutting there. Borderline with that uh inside curve there. I kinda like it though, even though it's almost entirely a Mazda race, we've had to deal with some uh lap traffic, which is true production car style, so that's uh, at least something. Sorry about my noisy wheels, they're really creaky right now for some reason. So the guy that was probably supposed to win the Mustang race has now left after troubles. So that's interesting. Feeling good though. I really do like this track. The gap ahead is now 2.4. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Lots of people frustrated. Sounds like. And we're catching up to the leaders here. Number 22. They're gonna pull away a little bit because of their draft, though. I'm feeling pretty good about being able to catch up to them. We still got 13 and a half minutes. That should be a decent bit of time. Sector three is two tenths off the pace. Wow, they really messed each other up there. I appreciate this lap car getting out of the way. What are you doing? It's all over my apex. Drives in way too hard and takes out one of the car leaders. Right. Go left. That's karma. The next car's the leader. Clear. Oh, joke. Didn't even have to do anything. 
Guy, what are you doing? You're not clean. That sucks for that guy that was up here battling. Lap car just overdrives the corner for no reason. He should have been getting out of the way in the first place. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. You're now in third. I think I'm faster than these guys, but they're kind of occupied with each other anyway, so that probably has something to do with why they're a little slower. And we're in their draft now, so that's good. Ooh, he's going for the pass. Hello, friends. I have joined your fun little battle. Is the Forker damaged? <laughs> he's up here battling and he's got a damaged vehicle. I don't think I want to try to pass here on the, on the first corner. That just seems dangerous. Sector two is two tenths off the pace. The next car's the leader. Left side. Clear. Car on your left. Clear. All right, can we pass him and pull away? We'll see about that. It's gonna be tough to pull away if uh, they're gonna have draft though. Really protecting that inside. Still there. Okay, you're in second. Clear. Yeah, it's just, it's way too dangerous to be trying to pass in the first turn, I think. It's probably just worth it to stay behind him. The gap behind is now 0.28. Uh, I know I'm faster, I just gotta figure out how to get by him and his swerving, blocking mess. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Stay on the right. Don't be distracted. Defend your position. there. You're in the lead. Still there. Hold your line. Keep to the right. Stay on the right. Clear on the left. Left side. Clear. Alright, I'll pass on the outside then. Ooh, I messed up that corner pretty bad. I got loose. But now, see, they have draft, so. Are they gonna be right back on me here in a minute? Probably. Although I do have the draft in front of me. That's something. Heads up, there's a car rejoining. What's this lap car gonna do? You're in third.
Now we got a Mustang, that's interesting. Oh boy, what's happening? Car right. Still there, hold your line. <laughs> You're on the left. Thankfully navigated that. Right side, two wide. Carrying me to the promised land, Mustang. Oh, this is ideal. Get the draft from a faster class? Heck yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is great. Just done a 107.00 Mustang driver actually kind of knows what they're doing too, so they're not just kind of in the way. They're kind of fast. That's awesome for this. That was very nice of the 17. <clears throat> Thank you, 17. I appreciate that. I'll make sure I say that because that was very generous. The 17, right? Yeah, I believe it was. Get a little bit more draft. Having this draft has been enough to pull us away from the other Mazdas so they can't have our draft, which is very nice. Let me be careful and not blow my engine downshifting too soon there in turn one. That was a little bit borderline. I love this track, though. <laughs> I'm curious what other people think about it. If you've raced this before, I'm curious what um, what people think of it. Like, if you like this track or not a fan. You know, I'm sounding like, oh, typical YouTuber asking for comments. Like, ooh, comment your favorite food. But <laughs> I'm genuinely curious. <laughs> I feel like I never hear anyone talk about this one. Now, if those guys behind... If they start uh, working together and stop battling for the position, they could potentially start drafting each other and catch up to me. They would have to hit the rest of the lap pretty decent too, though. But uh, something tells me that they're probably not going to do that. I feel like I gained like a ton of time through turn one. I think I've, I'm pretty comfortable with how I'm taking that, at least for this race. It seems like I gained some time, and I think it also might have to do with the guys behind battling, because I think if you go side by side through turn one, you lose a ton of time. Mm, overdrove that a little bit. All right, how much time do we have left? three and a half minutes or so. So I'm thinking it'll be about three more laps, potentially. Two or three. Feeling good, though, about our chances. Oh, I see the one has joined the fray <laughs> in that battle for second back there. If anything, that's going to hold those guys up even more. So I think what i got to do is not wreck it as i got a little sideways there. I think I, uh, I'm doing pretty good. Not having to battle up here is so crucial. Being able to take exactly the line I want to take really makes a big difference.
<laughs> I like that guy's uh, quick message. Thanks, mate. Keep racing well. That's very nice. Little smiley face. <laughs> you can type in custom messages and uh, bind them to a key, so that way you can say like, "Oh, pitting in" or whatever through the chat. You can uh, make it whatever you want. <laughs> he made it a very nice message. That's cool. That's nice. Nice of him. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Good sports on here. You love to see it. They're real good that time. Very happy with that corner. Be nice if I shipped it on time though. Oh, I got out too wide there. It's gonna be a slow down. You'll need to slow down if you don't want a penalty. Hopefully that bleeds off naturally. I'm gonna keep an eye on it here though. Can I take this a little wider and will it bleed off more? Yes, it will. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is run the middle lane. I think it should go away on its own. You'll need to slow down come on! Oh god, come on, go away! Oh my god, that was awful! It went back up to point two. Ugh. Thankfully, I think they like nearly crashed each other behind us or something, because their times got real weird. That's a... Uh, that would have been one way to throw it away, get myself a black flag. I'm glad we have room to spare. Don't do it again. You can't go out too wide there, obviously, as you saw. Or else you get a uh, an off track. It's kind of weird, because there's, there's no real mark marker anywhere on the track where you know where is crossing the line as far as I know it's kind of a weird thing but uh, we just gotta make one more lap Come on, let's make it a good one keep it together we'll win this or just a safe one that'll work too I'm not gonna like force myself to pass this guy or anything. Got five seconds behind us. So no hurry at all. Immediate, right? Lots of room. Probably took that corner better than I have been anyway. Right side. Clear I had ten line. laps of fuel left. It probably could have been easier on the fuel. Or, you know, major garages. <laughs> major garage could have, but that's the win! Hooray! Perfect drive. Absolutely flawless. You won! You drive a great right. <laughs> Good race, that was fun. That was fun. Looks like I had a fucking damaged car and all that, but. Yeah, I saw you fighting hard with it. That was, uh, this is fun. I like this track. Sorry, Mason, didn't mean to get into you there. I have been fighting out of wheel alignment this entire race. Oh, wow. That's impressive, then, if he was able to do that. I'm going ahead and just doing one more lap, um, letting them finish. Getting some more safety rating if I can. Did I get any X's this race? No, I did not. Sweet. And uh, once they do that, I want to run the oval <laughs> if I can. I don't know if they have barriers or something, but I want to do a lap on the oval. Just for fun. You're a fucking moron, bro. Oh. How the fuck do you take me out okay, and over? Bring it on in. <laughs> it's taking each other out of the races over. That's funny. Woo! You in the oval now.
<laughs> He's like, whoa, where'd that guy come from? <laughs> That's funny. Wee. All right, and that's a lap on the oval if you're wondering what that looked like. Flat out, believe it or not. There's no way you can do burnouts in this thing. There's no way. There's no get up. So the uh, the victory lap will be our celebration. So, all right, couldn't be much better than that. He's idiot. Thankfully, I was not these idiot today started seventh i didn't have the greatest qualifying so i'm happy i was able to pull it together during the race oh my gosh lots of people are angry at each other um the number one fantastic i don't even they didn't even qualify they went from 22nd to second so that's pretty impressive that's uh yeah couldn't have gone much better i don't think Zero X got the win, made some passes, and had a lot of fun racing a track that I don't get to race very often. So let's take a look and see what happened out here. Four wide in turn one. People who just don't know where everyone else is at. That's just uh that's tough. A little bit of a rear ending there. The one's probably much faster than these guys. It's probably gonna be yeah, he's struggling. He's trying to figure out what the other guys are doing. You know, a little bit impatient, maybe. He's very, cl he's clearly much faster, but like sliding around like that, all dangerous. Like sometimes you just have to like slow it down and uh, take it easy. I don't know. Clearly, he did all right. He ended up in what second? Yeah. So who am I to tell him what to do? But. He passed more people in this race than anyone else, I think. Here we got the weird situation where there's a thousand different ways to take turn one, and so guys are turning in. Weird Science got someone in the grass. This guy's getting pinched down there, and they come together. It's such a strange corner. And there's the number one flying through. Being way too aggressive. And he wrecks this guy because of it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Call the paramedics, Jesus. Oh, yikes. Whoa, an extra roll for good measure. Good lord. That was quite the incident. Yeah. I don't know about that one just plowing his way through the field like that. Like, if you're going to start in the back, you got to know that you're going to have to just, you know, pick your way through. Up with seven incidents. So he's maybe running into people or going off track on his way up the field. Green car takes the low line through turn one. The blue one was looking for the cut down and they met in the middle. Thomas is blaming his damage for not finishing better. Could be. He did pretty well for a... Uh... Oh my god, they're yelling at each other. That guy blew his engine, by the way. Sounded like he shipped it down by accident or something. Overrived it. That's the one taking people out on his way through the field. Yeah, that's not okay, man. <laughs> Look how far back he is and he dives it in on him. Now that's just dirty. That's just dirty, as far as I'm concerned. I think that what you gotta do there... Like, sure, this guy is going through the corner slower than you are, but you also didn't qualify. And so, of course, you're gonna be behind people that maybe you would normally be ahead of. Maybe the idea here... Let's take a wide entry, maybe even wider than he does, and get the run off. You got this whole straightaway to do it. In fact, maybe just take it a little slower, follow him through the corner, and then get the draft and pass him. Like, there's no reason to take a dude out for that. Just my opinion there. 
Ooh, chain reaction there. Thankfully, no one gets spun. Holy smokes! <laughs> Mustang plows through that guy. Although I don't know what this guy's doing. I don't think this guy knows the course or something because he's you don't break that hard into turn one. That's absurdly slow to be going. He basically brake checks the Mustang. <laughs> They're still fighting in the chat. I'm sorry, I'm laughing at that. Oh, turn one claims some more victims. <laughs> I'm so distracted by this argument going on in the chat. Well, that's interesting. Hitting the outside wall on the oval portion. Maybe just lost track of where he was on the track. Lost track of track. This guy coming through in a strange way. Such a weird corner, though. Can hardly blame him. Oh yeah, this was an interesting moment. So I believe this guy's broken. He's off pace, and so you got like some guys getting like trapped behind him or something. I see this going on. Yeah, that's a weird situation. I'm not sure what the guy ahead of me was thinking. He was always breaking too soon into this corner anyway. So I kind of like accidentally die bomb him, I guess, but he's going absurdly slow through the corner. So I'm like, all right, I guess I'll go. And then he gets trapped behind a slow car who's parking on the exit, or in the apex rather. gets trapped behind him. I really needed that to happen though, because this guy was holding me up so bad. Partially my fault for not being able to uh, make the pass sooner, I guess. But I think if I get stuck behind him for too much longer, I don't think I can come back to win this thing. This guy's got some damage already on the back. Ooh. <laughs> Just look how differently guys take this corner. It's crazy. It can be so messy. I know I keep repeating myself, but it's just such a huge factor in the in the races here. Here's where the two Mustangs kill each other. You can't... You just can't enter that shallow into turn one because of this... You know, the pit wall. There's just no way you can, uh... <laughs> Sorry. Um, there's just no way you can turn in side by side like that. I don't even know if you can make that single wide. I don't know if he's making the corner go going down there. Like, if you're going to be side by side, you have to take up more of the track and uh, be up here. Now, to be fair, the guy on the outside didn't give me any room either, but it was never going to work. Both guys did not uh, do what was required, I think, to make turn one side by side. And fortunately, this is where it ends up. And that is the wrong turn one. I think he'll get, he's going to end up winning the Mustang race, too, because of that. Yeah, because the nine got killed from it. But uh, the guy that... For a class that is fast enough to take the pole, they didn't do very well as a class. This is for the lead at the time. This guy gets below him, but is not able to get it turned like he needs to. I'm not even talking about it anymore. The guy left and he's still talking. <laughs> Yeah, he just he doesn't get it turned and he forces Futurama guy uh, off. You still there? Yeah, what's up? 
my bad if I ran you dirty or anything. I was just I was driving as hard as I could with that damage. I was really pissed off. My bad if I uh, <laughs> was kind of an asshole. Yeah, I figured you were probably being extra defensive because I saw the damage you had on your car, and I knew that was kind of just what you had to do with your current situation. So, no, you're good. It was it was a good battle we had, I think. It was a lot of fun. I was surprised I was able to hold on that long. My uh, my wheel was bent, like, probably about five degrees, so I left the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I heard you say you had your wheel out of alignment or whatever. That's pretty good racing to get it uh, to the finish in that condition, so... I, uh, I get it. Anyways, good one, buddy. Thanks, man. Have a good one. You too, man. So they got into each other there. And uh, all their fighting is what allowed me to catch back up. And, uh, oh, man. Oh! <laughs> Oh gosh, there have been some spectacular crashes this race. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. These uh, cars are hopping like popcorn this race. Oh man, almost up and over. Like moon gravity. So, oh lord, yeah, this is when the lap car takes out the three. Was that intentional? No. He said sorry, I remember at the time. He just missed his braking point. Yeah, he brakes too late. Oh, just takes him out hard. That sucks. Yeah, there we are on our way up front. 30 gets into the gravel. Can't drive on that. It looks kind of solid if you don't know what it is, but it's kind of like a gravel thing and it's, there's definitely no grip there. Get in the wall. Almost get in the wall. Whoa, overdriving that corner and finding that guy out on the outside, even though he went really wide. I think that guy was probably doing his best to get out of the way, and the guy still found him. So he comes up over here, and I think he takes it wide. Oh no, I think he got loose. I don't know if he meant to be out there. But <laughs> the blue car still found him anyway. Not sure how you do that. I just lost focus. Get the wall there. Ooh. So the guy that plowed the lead car earlier gets hit in the same corner. That's kind of like some cosmic karma, I guess. Oh, and he just stops. Why are you just stopping like that? I know you're probably sorry, but get out of the way first. You got other people coming. He probably had like a stop, uh, like that was his reaction. He's like, oh no, I hit the guy, I'm sorry. But you can't just stop on the apex either. So you got other people coming that need to hit this corner. I think it cost this 14 some time. So here's the number three. He's the guy that did get taken out. The guy. He's still uh, fighting. Trying to get back up there. He's probably got some damage, though, affecting his car. Still finishes sixth, though. And uh, approaching the end of the race. Just got a little bit of wall there. This might have been a uh, white flag lap, even. Must have been close near the end of the race. But this is why we were able to pull away even further it's because they were fighting for a second there's the one after plowing his way through the field oh my god he's fast but he's like so out of control it looks like he's sideways every corner like such a dangerous way to drive through like if he can harness that a little bit be a little smoother i think he'd be better off 
but he is higher ranked than me, so uh, probably shouldn't listen to me. Green and a orange car. I'm trying to think of what green and orange reminds me of a pumpkin. Yeah, like pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin car. That wasn't the white flag lap or anything, or even close before, by the way. I don't know how many laps I did. I only won the race and just did all of the laps. Expect me to know how many laps I drove? <laughs> These are the guys that were fighting at the end. Now, I didn't have any problem with the four, and that's why I answered him the way I did at the end, though. Because I've, like, the extent of what he did to me was, like, coming off of this corner low so he can protect the inside. That was the extent of what he did to me. So from my perspective, I was like, okay, yeah, no, you had a broken car. I know you're just doing what you could to defend the position because otherwise you weren't going to be able to do it with the broken car that you had. But I also was not too familiar with why this guy was mad. And so I don't know if he was doing stuff that was like kind of dirty. Like that's a little bit over the top, <laughs> like coming through the corner and literally just parking in front of the guy so he can't pass. Like, that would probably would have made me mad if he was doing that over and over again. I can probably see why the three would be upset by that. I don't know the extent of what he did, but from my experience during the race, I never remember, I don't remember ever having too much of a problem with him. So, I don't know. I might have encouraged bad behavior by accident or something. But I was only speaking from what I saw in the race. So yeah, there's the guy going low. I passed him on the outside. Ooh. Yeah, and then he comes up and hits the guy. Hmm. That was the checkered flag, I believe. Yes, that was the checkered flag. So, so he swerves into him to prevent him from passing him, and I don't even think he needed to. Well, he might have needed to. That's pretty dirty. Man, why does the cool Futurama guy with the cool car have to be the doing not, not cool things? Maybe I shouldn't have encouraged him. <laughs> That's pretty dirty. Did he lose a spot at the end here? Yes. Just barely. So the 8 benefited from that. This is the guy that <laughs> was holding us up near the beginning. He got two freebies right at the end there. Yeah, I can see why the 3 is mad. <laughs> that was all pretty unnecessary. And then this guy gets uh, incidents from it as well. Because he has to avoid their nonsense. So, oops, I might have encouraged bad behavior on this day. And then... <laughs> After the race is over... This guy was mad about this, but like... Also, you're kind of stopping, or like, you're hitting the brakes, kind of, like... I don't know, maybe you don't stop in the middle of the track. It's kind of twofold, like... First, maybe don't stop in the middle of the track. Second, maybe, like, no reason for you to be driving that hard after the race. And maybe, like, not directly into the back of the guy. I don't know. Two questionable <laughs> choices there, maybe. I don't know. It's mostly on the orange car, though, I think. Because, I mean, the race is over. You gotta be aware of what's in front of you still. You can see he's just not paying attention to the guy hitting his brakes. And, uh, more popcorn. <laughs> popcorn car going on. And, uh, got some other guys doing the oval with me at the end. And that's it. That was a kind of a long incident report, but, uh, a great race. It was very fun. I'm very happy to have the chance to race Phoenix Road, Phoenix Road again, because, uh, I think it's quite fun. Uh, like I mentioned before, I, I'm curious what other people think about it, but, uh, maybe I'm a little biased. 
because I got the win here. <laughs> so, um, fun race. Uh, I do kind of want to go back if I can and see my pass. Was this it? Did I completely just guess the lap? No. What's the next lap, I think? That was the guy, uh... The guy protecting the inside, like I was mentioning. So, he protects the inside. And this lap, I was like, alright, we'll see what I can do here. How, how well I can hang on the outside. And so I kind of take it a little bit easier, just see how the car is reacting and feeling. See if I can kind of cut down, but decide against it, because it looks like he's going to be cutting down whether I'm there or not. So, kind of just casing it out, waiting for my chance. Gotta wait for the right opportunity. And so this next lap, he takes the bottom line, protects it, and uh, I have a lot of momentum, so I just take it on the higher side. And this time, I drive it in hard and just do it on the outside. And I know he's there, so I kind of have to go a little wider. And thankfully, I'm able to get it done. This takes another extra second there, but uh, he didn't get into me. He held his line, and uh, from here, I was able to pull away eventually. I think with a little bit of help too, because they were battling back there. So, actually didn't take that corner very well, exiting there. Yeah, they were still right up on me for a while. What was the point that I was able to get away? I know that Mustang helped me with this draft. Oh yeah, there was this point. Okay. So this is this was crucial too, to help get myself away from their draft. And this is a very crucial point in the race. I know it's been a long video already, but I think it's interesting to look back at this. So, wow, he dives in hard. I think I can thank the four for being able to get away, because he dives it in so bad. He just takes away the guy's apex slows both of these guys down and uh, ruins both their corner and I have the glorious benefit of a faster class to leech off of for a minute that helps pull me away from his draft and uh, once I'm far enough away then uh, that was that I just uh, had to not mess it up and thankfully I was able to not mess it up so these guys this is basically a microcosm for the rest of the race for a second. Like these guys battling and me being able to pull away as they do. And uh, that's what helped us get there. Fun stuff. All right. That's it for real this time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had a fun time. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. See you later.